So let's talk about something that's been popping up in the news a lot lately. Electric vehicles catching fire. You've probably seen a headline or two. Maybe it was about a parked EV suddenly going up in flames or a crash where the fire looked way more dramatic than you'd expect. And naturally it raises eyebrows. People start asking, are these things safe? Why do EV batteries catch fire? And more importantly, should we be worried every time we plug in our car or sit in traffic? Well, the truth is, there's a lot more to the story than the flashy headlines suggest. So let's unpack this in plain language and get to the bottom of what's actually going on with these EV fires. Right here on History of Simple Things. The heart of the matter is the battery itself, specifically the lithium-ion battery. These are the same type of batteries powering your smartphone, laptop, power tools, and even electric toothbrushes. But in an EV, we're talking about a massive pack, often made up of thousands of smaller cells, all packed tightly together. Lithium-ion batteries are amazing because they store a ton of energy in a relatively compact space. That's what gives EVs their long driving ranges. But this energy density also means that when something goes wrong, it can go really wrong. The problem isn't that lithium-ion batteries are inherently dangerous. It's that when they're damaged or improperly handled, the chain reaction they can trigger is, well, pretty intense. The term you'll hear a lot in connection with EV fires is thermal runaway. It sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a very real and very serious phenomenon. Here's what happens. If one battery cell gets too hot, maybe due to overcharging, physical damage, or an internal short circuit, it can begin to heat up uncontrollably. That heat then spreads to the neighboring cells, which also begin to heat up. And before you know it, the entire battery pack is cooking itself from the inside out. The result is often smoke, toxic gases, and in worst cases, flames that are incredibly hard to put out. What makes this even more complicated is that the fire doesn't always start right away. Sometimes the damage is done, and then hours, or even days later, the battery goes into thermal runaway. That delayed reaction makes it much trickier to predict and contain. Now you might be wondering what actually causes that initial damage to the battery. And the answer isn't always cut and dry. One common cause is physical trauma, like during a car crash. Even if the battery casing seems fine on the outside, the impact might have caused something inside the cell to crack or shift creating the perfect condition for an internal short circuit. Another cause is manufacturing defects. Despite rigorous testing, no system is perfect. If a tiny metallic particle finds its way into the cell during production, it can cause a short circuit weeks or months later. Then there's improper charging. Charging systems have safeguards. But if someone uses an off-brand or malfunctioning charger, or if a battery management system fails, it can lead to overcharging, overheating, and you guessed it, thermal runaway. Now, let's pause for a second and add some perspective. It's easy to think EVs are more dangerous because we hear more about them when they catch fire. But statistically speaking, gas-powered cars still catch fire more often. Gasoline is extremely flammable, and internal combustion engines have their own fire risks. Leaking fuel lines, overheated engines, electrical faults. What makes EV fires so alarming is that they look more dramatic, and they behave differently. They're often harder to extinguish, and they can reignite hours after appearing to be put out. That unpredictability makes them feel more frightening. But again, it's not necessarily that they're more common, just more complex and unfamiliar. To their credit, EV manufacturers are well aware of the risks and are constantly working to improve battery safety. 
Modern EVs are packed with sensors that monitor battery temperature, voltage, and charge cycles in real time. If anything looks off, the system can shut down or isolate problematic cells to prevent a chain reaction. Battery pack designs have also become more sophisticated. They now include fire-resistant barriers between cells, advanced cooling systems, and even chemical fire suppressants built into the battery casing. In many ways, EVs are becoming smarter and more self-aware than ever, especially when it comes to keeping things from overheating, literally. There's also some really exciting innovation happening behind the scenes with battery tech. One of the most promising developments is solid-state batteries. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, which use a flammable liquid electrolyte, solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte, which is far less likely to catch fire. These batteries are also more stable and can potentially hold even more energy in a smaller package. They're still in development, but if successful, they could greatly improve both EV safety and performance. At the end of the day, should you be worried about your EV catching fire? Realistically, no more than you worry about your gasoline car bursting into flames. Every type of vehicle carries some risk. What's important is knowing how those risks work and trusting that engineers, regulators, and emergency services are constantly adapting to make these vehicles safer. The EV world is still relatively new in the grand scheme of things, and with anything new, there are learning curves. But we're getting better at this every single year. The goal isn't to eliminate every single fire, because that's probably impossible, but to reduce their chances and control the outcome when things go sideways. So the next time you see a headline about an EV fire, you'll know there's a lot more under the hood, literally and figuratively. These aren't just stories of exploding batteries. They're part of a much bigger shift in how we think about energy, transportation, and safety. EVs are here to stay. And the fire issue? It's a challenge, yes, but it's one that people around the world are actively working on every day. And like with most technologies, today's problems are tomorrow's solved puzzles. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.